top three tips for content creators. Number one, focus on your audience more than you focus on the algorithm. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to your people and understand what they want to do. A lot of people are very stiff on video. You know, they like, hi, I want to tell you about trading. And I think that you like, and it's like, bro, that's not going to work, man. You got to have a conversation with the people. You got to be personable. Yeah. Systems stand for save yourself time, <laughs> energy, and money. And when he said that to me, I Damn, was like, bro, wait, say that again. Save yourself so, time, um, energy, and money. money. The Miami edition, we're in the game room right now, you know, we're, we're internationally playing games. Shit, I'm whooping his ass. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm whooping his ass at this oh. right now. <laughs> you know, so um, so the thing is, right, Ken King is here. You know, he's very big on, you know, social media marketing. He's big on, you know, strategizing and, and, and getting your business or your brand from the level that it is at right now to the level that it, it should be, right? And this guy is, you know, this guy is crazy. Like, he comes up with ideas on the flick, you know, on the fly. Like, you know, he has connections, you know, all over the place. You know, cause we in Miami right now and, you know, we needed a photographer and this guy was like, oh, I, I got this guy who do this for us, right? And then, you know, a lot of content ideas, a lot of things that we're doing, you know, this this guy is, you know, one of the persons that is behind, um, you know, the, the things that we're doing, right? So this is a, this is a great, thing and funny enough like the way that we actually got the link was it's not even like a year or two or three years bro and just the connection and the things that we're able to actually achieve in such a short space of time this this shows that this guy is an action taker and it is difficult to find action takers especially in this you know day and age where a lot of people are on social media and they're like they're not doing in real life what they say they can do you know and you know especially marketers like a lot of people have marketers content marketers in their bio and then you know, you pay them or you bring them on board and they can't even share an idea with you. They can't even get shit done. This guy, believe me, he's getting it done. If he says that, and this is what I love about him, especially in the meetings that we had and initially, this guy is on go mode, meaning he says that I'm going to do this by, we have a meeting right now, I'm going to do this within the next hour. Believe me, you're getting it in 30 minutes, right? So, so Kent, bro. Big up, bro. Thanks for being thank here. You, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank school. you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, man. Don't believe everything you see on camera, yo. You know what I'm saying? 99% of the stuff he say is true, but if he say he beat me at anything, that's false. I promise you that. <laughs> that's what he said about poker last night. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what he said about poker last night, bro. So let me ask you, man, because, yeah. you know, how did you get into, like, content marketing and all that you're doing right now? Um, now, before we will yeah. go into that, what do you do? Tell the people what do you do? I'm often the, 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 the guy behind the guy, right? Yeah. I help people build brands. I help people strategize on how to grow their businesses, um, especially a personal brand. No matter what it is, I can take you from one place to the other. Yeah. Uh, I pretty much teach people content marketing. I understand the algorithms. I understand the platforms. But more than anything, I understand people. Yeah. Right. And I understand what people want to see and what, what, what we can do to deliver something that's of value to them. And so I help people contextualize that into content and we just create from there. You know what I'm saying? OK, so how did you get started in the field that you're in right now? Man, it's crazy because like I was in movies and TV shows and stuff like that since I was five. So I knew media, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Since then, like I've been doing media and stuff. And then I was a DJ and from DJing, I had to like pivot you know what i'm saying so like yeah man i was i was a big dj i was doing my thing and like i was in every club every nightclub restaurant bar and i started doing like rebrands for the for the nightclubs because you know they always close down and yeah. you got you, you know what i'm saying you need a new one so it was another way for me to make money you know yeah. what i'm saying i'm always trying to be vertically integrated and trying to make sure that i'm, I'm i got my hands in everything and yeah. so then the content thing happened i started helping like rap artists like music artists and stuff but they don't really like see the importance of it or have anything to actually tangibly sell yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying and then i just pivoted man to just teaching everybody everything i knew yeah. and then you know the people who wanted to work with me decided to work with me and uh and that's how we got here you yeah. know what i'm saying so but just like you said i'm a man of action yeah. you're a man of action yeah, yeah, right because yeah. when you found me 
You booked a call with me at like same time. three in the morning, bro. Same time, bro. Three in the morning, same day. Same like, time. You, you're the reason why nobody could book a same day call with me anymore. <laughs> I promise you that. I promise you. Because I woke up, first thing I saw on my phone was like, you have a meeting with a uh, pajama billionaire. I was like, today? Nah, we're not doing that. I'm changing that. That's the last person that could do that. So, yeah. yeah. And we did have the meeting and it's just so crazy. Oh, when, the, when this guy came on the meeting, right? He was well read. So, normally... And it's annoying where I will grow because the business is growing. I'm growing as an individual, but normally we will we'll be getting on meetings and people aren't prepared at all. So you have mm. such a short time to prepare and to understand the business and our business model and what we're doing. Right. And you're able to pivot immediately as mm -hmm. we're telling you what or we're explaining certain things to you. You're able to pivot immediately and give us ideas. We'd be on meetings and people not being able to give us no ideas. And yeah. these guys are like, oh, yo, I got 10, 20 years of experience. Um, within this field, man. And even after the meeting, like sometimes it would take people like a month, two months or the, um, to, to just get back to you with certain information. This guy did an AI video, right? <laughs> this guy did a proposal <laughs> to us, outlining everything, you know, the, a bunch of ideas and strategies and stuff like that. And they're actually working because we're, we're implementing them right now. And by the time you see this video, a lot of them would be implemented. And you can go on my social media and you can see that will implementation of stuff like that. This guy edits videos himself, right? He has a team that edits as well too. He's able to put together like, um, you know, different things that will make people watch and, and view. And I've learned a lot of tricks with my phone too. You know, I learned how to, to, to shoot videos better. You know, I learned how to tell better stories with the different um, thing that I'm actually doing on a day-to-day -day basis because I want to I want to take my audience on that journey with mm -hmm. me as well too. So being around you, bro, like just from not only the first meeting because I learned a lot in the first meeting that mm -hmm. we had, you know, but just being around you and just inter uh, just interacting with it on a day-to-day -day basis or even if I don't say anything to you, bro, and yeah. I'm seeing what you're doing, like the fact that and I, and I hope I can share this with them. Yeah, but yeah. You flip the phone. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> this guy <laughs> flips the phone whenever he's taking pictures or flips the phone whenever he's videoing. Yeah. And then to, to ensure that you're not videoing like straightforward, you're taking multiple different angles yeah. and stuff like that. And always be quick. You can edit stuff on your mobile phone. Like mm -hmm. we'll, be, we'll be driving or we'll be here talking about something and, and the guy just did something. I'll be like, yo, I got something cool to show you. Boom, boom, boom. Five minutes after. Yo, look at this. What do you think about this? Right? And stuff like that. So this is how this guy operates. But the fact that you're well read, yeah, that that is truly an amazing quality to have. Because thank you. This shows that you know I don't know your other clients that mm -hmm. you have, but this shows that they, these people that you have are getting you know amazing work, bro. Because it's like you came into us and what you did for us or what you're doing for us is that you understand the model and you're saying, okay, this is exactly how we're going to build the reach and get us to that million dollar view or 100k view because even the first reel that we did mm -hmm. we got like freaking 50k view within 24 hours yeah. or so you get me <laughs> and that's crazy and then the strategy before that i'm not going to tell you the strategy you got to link him for the strategy for that, <laughs> right but <laughs> and that reel only took us like five minutes to five do. minutes to do that's less than it. five minutes yeah 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 we did that first reel and, and this guy so this guy had me do something before the trip you know to prepare you know and then it's like I did it, and then the moment, you know, we did that real man, my shit started blowing up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, you know, a lot of other things that is able to actually teach me is just so crazy and amazing, bro. Like, how were you able to actually learn all of this that you're doing? Um, it's crazy, right? Because I think from everything that I've done before, mm -hmm. right? Like, being a DJ, I had to study people, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I remember when I was DJing and like, there's certain songs that I didn't like yeah. and I didn't want to play. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because it's not cool to me, but I had to realize like, yeah. it's not about like me. It. Yeah. It's not about me at all. Nobody cares about me. Yeah. Like as the DJ, it's my job to make other people, you know what I'm saying? Want to be satisfied. And it's the same thing with content. Mm -hmm. It's like, there's certain things that we want to show yeah. or to certain ways that we want to be represented, but we have to be conscious of how it's coming off to other people and you got to understand them and what they want. And so it's just been a consistent, you know, the thing, the thing is, right. A lot of people say like, yo, like you're the master. And for me, I say, I'm still a student because yeah. I study every day yeah. before we did this. 
I was in there watching a video from somebody else talking about content, yeah. right? I didn't agree with it. They were saying yeah. some, some BS. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. I, I, I study. Like, yeah. I'm always studying. I'm always paying attention because this is an ever-changing game. And it's just like the markets. You know what I'm saying? It's like you might have a strategy that works today mm -hmm. and then... Tomorrow, that strategy might not work, so you yeah. got to be flexible and yeah. switch it up. And Always so, be adopted. Exactly. And it's the same thing with content, bro. And, like, I think that that's really where my superpower is, is that I'm just, I'm always willing to be studying and just to keep learning. You know what I mean? Yeah. What title would you give yourself? Let me ask you that first. Um, <laughs> that's a difficult one. <laughs> yeah. You know what's crazy? I call myself the content chemist. The content chemist. Because having good content is a mm -hmm. formula. Yeah. Right? And, like... And, and certain certain formulas will make different compounds, mm -hmm. right? Like if you want to make water, you know what I'm saying? You need H2O, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But you could take hydrogen and you can mix it with something else and you can get a totally different, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Substance. So I, I look at it like that where it's like I mix certain things for certain people and I make it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I make it work. Like the reel that I did for you might not work for any of my other clients because their audience is different, Yeah. right? So I got to pay attention to all the elements around and then mix up the best stuff and then get the compound that we want. So I call myself the content chemist. Okay, so all right, so the, being a content chemist. Yeah. What does that include? That that What does that involve? That means that means you're 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 paying attention to everything that could affect the elements that you're mixing together. So maybe, right? And we we spoke about this. Uh, well, I can give it. I give it to them. This, this is your audience, so I give it to the people, right? Everybody thinks that you got to do reels, yeah. right? Everybody thinks you got to do reels, reels, reels. But like for us, some of the stuff that we're gonna do is like a photo, and then you slide it over, and then it's the video, yeah. right? And like that's because I understand that like reels serve one purpose, yeah. but when we want to talk to the audience, let's just show them a dope photo because there's a lot of things that we caught here that's not for video. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's a lot of you. You spent a lot of money shopping while we were here, <laughs> so it only makes sense that we take some really good pictures, yeah, right? Yeah, of because yeah. some of the places that you go. You can't record in those stores. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't record in Louis Vuitton. Like they might give us free water and champagne yeah. and stuff because yeah. you done spent so much money, but we can't bring cameras in there. Yeah. So how do we make it work so that we still telling a story? Yeah. Well, we could get pictures of you coming out. We can get pictures of the stuff you bought, and then we could use that to put a video behind it. So we can still tell the story. You know what I'm saying? But like, but just using everything that we got to make the compound that we want. So that's really what it what it entails. It's like you got to use everything that's around you and figure out how to tell the best story. For example, you had an issue with the Lambo. Yeah. The top didn't. The top didn't want <laughs> to go back up. Go back. <laughs> right. So we was trying to figure out what to do, and we yeah. made it work, and yeah. we told the story about that, yeah. and we and we even put it into like to teaching people, like you know what I'm saying. Certain things happen, and you got to just roll with the punches, and you got to understand that like, yo, that's not the end of the day. No. Right. Like you could still make some stuff happen. So it's really just about understanding what you have and using all of those elements to make the compound that you want. So let me ask you what. So you, you know, utilizing all of these elements and yep. making the different compounds and stuff and just integrating with different businesses and helping to build. What have been some of the biggest challenges that you've had? Um, I say the biggest challenge that I have is, is most people don't understand the value of what I do mm -hmm. um, or the time it takes for certain things to work, right? Like with us, it's almost been a cheat code, right? Because normally it takes a long time for certain things to work, but I understand what you do because I trade myself. Yeah. So I know that 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 world, right? I know what people want and I know what people want to see. So I'm uniquely positioned mm -hmm. to help you. But most times, it takes a few months when people don't already have motion. You also already had motion and you have yeah. a name. So it's like I came in and I just added the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I added the little gravy onto the yeah. rice. You know, yeah, just a little, just a little spin. So when you see me go viral. <laughs> this guy, so yeah, most people don't understand that. Or I know you enjoyed this video, but Pro Traders Fund is offering traders more capital to trade. So you don't have to use your own money. You're able to trade risk-free, keep up to 90% of profits you make. Plus, you're able to withdraw weekly, bi-weekly, instantly. You're able to trade on your own comfort anywhere in the world, right? So visit the link in the description. Visit Pro Traders Fund. Get funded today. Start trading. 
risk free protein as fuck. Most people don't have like natural personality. Yeah. Right? Like like when we got on the call, I could I could see your personality. I could understand who you were. Right? Matter of fact, before we got on the call, I went and I studied. Yeah. And I was like, you had the saying, right? From like from from slippers to, to yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like and I saw that and I was like, Yeah, I might steal that. Like if he don't hire me, I might actually just steal it. I don't even care. I'll put yeah. it from one of my other yeah, clients. Yeah, 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 because yeah. you already have swag in motion. So it was like, okay, this is something that I could work with. A lot of people are very stiff on video. You know, they like, hi, I want to tell you about trading. And I think that you like, and it's like, bro, that's not gonna work, man. You yeah, gotta have yeah. a conversation with the people. You gotta be personable. Yeah. So it's like, people don't understand the value and then people don't understand their own limitations. Mm -hmm. Like they don't know what they're not good at. And like, if you're not good at making videos, it's okay. No. We could use quotes. We could do pictures. We could do a lot of different things to tell stories. Don't just think that you have to do that. And so that's really like the two biggest things is like people don't understand the value in it and how long it's going to take. And then people just don't understand their own limitations. All right. So you have a client mm -hmm. and they don't understand the value. They don't have an emotion going on for them. Yeah. All right. How do you get them to understand their value as well as have motion going for them starting from nothing? So if a, if a person is a zero following mm -hmm. on social media, they had a business, that something that they wanted to do. They wanted to start having following and start... Um, building that motion for themselves mm -hmm. how do you go about doing that you know what's crazy is if a person got zero followers mm -hmm. it's easier for me than yeah. if they got like a, a like two thousand or you know what i'm saying that's it's easier for me to work with somebody who got zero followers than it is to work with somebody who already has a following yeah. because if you have a following like and this is what i did for you i have to go study the people who are commenting on your page, who are liking your stuff, who like, who's your top followers, right? Yeah. Like, I probably know them better than you do because I studied them so much. Yeah. So I know how to speak to them. But if you have zero, man, we could just build some stuff and like, we could make it go. But when there is that difficulty and trying to get a client to understand, you know, the value in all of this stuff, I, I, first I'm gonna say this, content is very much like trading. Yeah. You might see a setup that looks good and then decide not to take it yeah. because it's not going to work for you. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same thing with content, bro. There's clients that like, since I've been here, I, I fired a client because they didn't understand it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so you can't yeah. take every single trade and I can't take every single client. client. You know what I mean? Yeah. But when I do have that client that needs to understand it, for me, it, it's and this is something that you do very well is I speak in analogies. I will I will talk about something that I know you understand and then correlate it With to something. content. Yeah. You know, this way you can start to see and visualize like, OK, I, I know how this works. So if you're telling me that this works like this. OK, cool. I'm going to try to move it like this and yeah. and patience. Yeah. Same thing that you got with your students, right? Patience, man. You got to have the patience to try to help people to get to the next level. But then you also got to realize when some people are just not going to get it. Yeah. Like, yeah, if you're just not going to get it, maybe I'll put you on a different job or a different role or something. But like, it's, I would say it's a combination of like patience, speaking in analogies, and then knowing when not to like take that client, man. Yeah. So in terms of like your, your workflow of, getting things done because yeah. the thing about a lot of content marketers mm -hmm. or you know you being the content chemist mm -hmm. and other people who say they are the content chemist mm -hmm. right it's only that, one but yeah it's only one it's only one <laughs> right is that they said that they can do all this mm -hmm. right and i don't know if it's their schedule you know they're too packed it's too much clients or whatever because i know you have a lot of clients mm -hmm. right what separates you in terms of you know, what do you do different or what do you think um, is causing a lot of content creators or managers or people who are doing marketing, social media to not be at the level that you are at right now in terms of like, oh, for example, we did a presentation, I understood the business. Mm -hmm. You know, you're able to send me stuff right away. And also you're able to actually implement stuff that are working and actually working. Mm -hmm you know, versus those who just say, hey, I can do this. And then, you know, months and months, people, um, businesses are hounding them down on their back and be like, hey, I need this, I need this, and they're still not getting it done. 
So, so how are you able to actually manage everything? That mm-hmm. is one I'm asking you. And two, or how are you able to actually maintain the level of quality that you have mm. with the different clients that you have and the amount of clients you have? So I'm going to say this. One of my mentors, actually it was my brother who, his mentor told him this, that like, you need systems. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I get it. But then he said, systems stand for save yourself time <laughs> energy and money and when he said that to me i Damn, was like bro wait say that again save yourself so, time, time energy and money save yourself so systems s save yourself time energy and money time energy, energy and, and money. money that's what systems stand for See? You That's see how it just crazy, clicked? Bro. Like, you see how it just systems. clicked? You see that, right? All the words, all yep. the letters in the word? Yep. Go ahead. And so when he said that to me, it really like, it really stuck. And it just, it, it, it was something that I had to really like, okay, if I want to scale this thing, mm-hmm. if I don't want to sacrifice on my content, mm-hmm. I have to be able to deliver for my clients plus myself. I have to have a system, right? I have to have a system in place. I know people are probably looking at my, my, my page right now and they're probably like, well, well, is he in Miami or is he in Atlanta? Because I'm posting old posts from like my house. And yeah. then, but if you look at my story, I'm with you yeah. in a Lambo, right? Like, so they're yeah. like, yo, what's going on? But that's because I have a system. I have so much old content backlog that like stuff is rolling out and like I be forgetting. We yeah. was in the car talking and then my phone started blowing up. I was like, oh, I forgot that real posted. Like, yeah. and everybody's commenting now. <laughs> so systems, man, systems are, are extremely important. And, and understanding, right, myself and my yeah. workflow, like the most important thing for me is like the morning, how I start my day. So every day, even when we was here, every day I get up, I meditate, I do three moments of gratitude, yeah. and then I start my day. Yeah. Because that allows me to, to, to tackle anything else that comes on through the day, because I started with the right mind frame and mindset, and now I know that whatever challenge comes, mm-hmm. I can handle it. Yeah. I know I can handle it because I'm in the right state of mind. So having systems in place, having the right mindset, those are probably two of the, two of the most crucial things that have allowed me to be able to continue to deliver for my clients, to continue to deliver for myself. And then when it comes to like quality, I'm dedicated to what I do. Your page is your page, mm-hmm. but when I'm creating content, yeah. right, that's my page. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah. just letting you know that right now. Like, that's my page, bro. Yeah. Like, I, I care about it. That's why when we did that video, it was like, no, we gotta do it like this. Yeah. Like, no, I need you to go. I need you to go here. I need you like because it's 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 my page. It's that important to me. Yeah. And I think that a lot of people who do what I do, um, number one, because it's a business. Yeah. They try to string it along. Yeah. So they like, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a deliver a couple of pieces this month, maybe a couple more next month. Yeah. Maybe, maybe one today. Maybe they, they want to string it along. For yeah. me, it's the opposite. I wanna, I wanna grow my clients so big that other people can't book me because my clients are like, yo. I only want you to work with me. Yep, yep. I, I don't. I don't want you to work <laughs> yeah, with me. No, we were gonna give. No, 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 no. <laughs> like that's a, that's my goal, right? And so if I treat every client like they're gonna be my only ones, yeah. I treat every client like I'm trying to make them a unicorn. Well, yeah. then, then, then they know, like, yo, this is somebody who is of value, and I gotta have you around. Yeah. No matter what it is or what it takes, you let me know because you've been able to make things happen, right? Like that's why, bro, we needed a photographer. I made a phone call. I made a phone Tell call, you. right? And 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 now I owe him, but yeah. that's okay. Yeah. Like cuz he's on my team. So yeah. whenever he knows that whenever I send him to something, it's going to be good people, it's going to be good vibes. You you did try to kidnap him yesterday. Yo, yo. <laughs> I legit tried to, I don't know if y'all like the video, bro. Like, I legit told, listen to my yeah. bro. Yeah, he threw him, him in the Lambo. Like, he was like, nah, sit down, sit, sit, sit. I'm like, bro, he got to go somewhere, can't man. Ta- can't talk to me begging for him. Yo, let my friend out. Let him out, please. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's the thing, bro. When you, when you, but y'all good people, right? Like, mm-hmm. like I, I posted something the other day where, you know, I sent you an invoice for something and like I never, I saw, I was telling my girl, I was like, y'all, I didn't even send him the receipt. Yeah. I just sent him the invoice. 
Like I was, I was about to send you the receipt, mm-hmm. and then you was like paid, and I was like, oh, he don't even know if that was the actual <laughs> amount. He just paid it. Like I was like, okay, this yeah. is the type of people I like to work with because you understand, you know, what it is. Let's let's we're not gonna let the small hiccups. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Stop the flow. Yeah. Like yep. that wasn't even a conversation. Yep. Like, and I'm so used to talking to people and working with people and being like, hey, did you? Hey, I sent you the invoice. Did you get a chance to pay that? Oh yeah, I get to. Uh, did you get a chance to? Yo, did you? Like, I don't like having to do that because then I got to think about that stuff. I want to yeah. put all my time. It takes in, the fun out of everything. Yes, yeah. it's also my my mental energy. Yeah, I want all my mental energy to be working on content. Right. Like I want all my mental energy to be growing your stuff. So don't have me run chasing you for like a little invoice for whatever. So when you yeah. did that, that's why I posted it. I was like, yo, I didn't. Need, all I said was, yo, here's the thing. He said paid. I was like, OK, I don't even know what to say next. Like, <laughs> All right. I guess we working like that's You're working with billionaires. Bro. Yeah, I see. I see. It's different, man. It's different. Yeah. And so, yeah, bro, that's, you know, having your systems in place is extremely important and then. You know, when you understand, when you find good people, yeah. you got to treat them like a priority. It's mutual. Yeah. It's mutual, bro. Yeah. And so you find good people because you're good to us, bro. So I'm looking at it as, and this is what I try to do business. But the thing about it, bro, it burns you sometimes. Because yeah. say, for instance, I, I give that same energy to another person. Mm-hmm. Most people are just a good talk, you know. Mm-hmm. But then when it comes to action, bro, bro, the reason I'm, I'm like that with you, bro, is because you, you're doing before. Right? Bro, we're in the fucking meeting. We're in the meeting, and we say, hey, you're going to book, because I bought the ticket for everybody. You say, mm-hmm. yo, you're going to book this and book whatever. You, you said that you're going to do it yourself. Yeah. You're going to take action right now. And we're in the meeting, and you did it, and I'm like, yo, this guy's a freaking action taker, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? This guy's a freaking, bro, let me tell you how long we know each other. To, to do it. It's about two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. Two fucking weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy came on board and just took action right away, off the, off the snap. Normally, this would take three, four, five months. Facts. And still nothing. Facts. Right? But I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm getting better at reading energy. Yeah. Right? Because like you were saying with, with Kells, right? Like y'all have known each other for decades. I was just meeting. And you're just, just meeting. And it's like y- y'all known each other for, for 10 years and y'all have done great business and you're just meeting. We've known each other for 10 days yeah. and I'm already willing to fly out to Miami yeah. and leave with you, right? It's like, yo, you have to be a good judge of character and energy. Yeah. And you're right, it does come with the territory and sometimes you do get burnt, but those lessons, right? Those teach you how to judge other people. Yeah, yeah. Those are the lessons that teach you like, you know what? I'll never make that mistake yeah, again because yep. I got burned by that or whatever the case may yeah. be. So yeah, I, I, I respect it. And when you feel a mutual respect, yeah. you have to make sure that you you nurture that. Yeah. You got to make sure you nurture that. And I can always bring everything back to trading, right? It's the same thing when you find a good trade. When you find a good setup, when you find something that's working, Nurture when you it. find a market that you yeah. like, it doesn't mean like when we was with Q Banks, right? He was like, nah, I, I trade this. Yeah. He was like, I don't care. <laughs> I, I trade this I trade. because this is what works for me. Yeah. I nurture that. And that's the same thing with relationships, man. When you find a setup and when you find a system and when you find something that's there and it's mutual respect, you got to make sure that you nurture that because you want the relationship to grow. Yeah. So, yeah. you know what I mean? I love that, bro. So, like, like even right now, bro, like, I'm just seeing so much growth, and I really want to just tell it, like, here right now, I appreciate it, bro. Likewise, brother. You know, you're Likewise. doing some crazy shit for us, bro. Likewise, you know, man. So, but, but what I want to ask, you know, yeah, is, is this is this big thing? Like, what keeps you motivated as a um, content manager, content creator? Hmm. What keeps you motivated? Um, it's funny because I told my girl uh, yesterday. So I got new motivations now. Yeah. <laughs> I said I, I've been in I've been in a Lambo, yeah. a two seater, mm-hmm. but I never been in a truck. Yeah. I never been in a Urus. I've seen yeah. it. Yeah. Right, but I never been in one. Yeah. And I was like, yo, this man had me in the Urus yesterday. Yeah. He had me in the Urus. I was like, and I, yeah. I was like, I called her. I was like, baby, he might get two. He, yeah. <laughs> he's trying to decide. I was like, if he get two, I might get the drive one. <laughs> <laughs> so those things are material, yeah. right? And it's like, they don't matter, but it's about the ability, yeah. right? We spent an hour long trying to decide whether or not we was going to get two of them. Yeah. It's not about whether or not we got two Euruses. Yeah. It's about the fact that we have the ability to, to decide that. Yeah. Like that's, 
that's that was that was our first problem in the yeah, morning yeah. when most people got problems of like damn i gotta go to work yeah you in the garage like should i get to yeah or not like we really spent the hour on that and so when you watch things like that and when you're around yeah. things like that you can't help but to be motivated you yeah. know what i'm saying you can't help but to be motivated if y'all well y'all not gonna y'all not gonna be able to see maybe i'll save it i'll probably save that post yeah. for later but i just i just made it like a funny little reel where i took the key and i ran to the car and i told him i was gonna rob you for the for yeah. the euros you know what i'm saying because it's like having that stuff around you we're, we're not gonna see you're gonna see we're gonna do that <laughs> yeah when i post it when i post it y'all see it, it's gonna be on my story now nah, yeah. i'm gonna post it on my page i'm gonna post it on my page but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like having those abilities right to have higher level conversations yeah right to have bigger problems to be able to go to a restaurant and meet with the owner and then have the owner come back to the villa. Yeah. Right? Seeing those things, being around those things, being around the right people. That's why I nurtured this relationship yeah. because I knew that this would be motivational. Yeah. Right. I told my girl yesterday, I was like, yo, I'm so ready to come home. <laughs> like I love being here, but I'm so ready to come home because when I come home, I'm killing shit. Yeah. I'm printing out a Yoris, <laughs> I'm putting on the wall because I need one of those now. I oh. need one. I was like, yo, he don't know what he doing. He not yeah. driving this thing right, yeah. man. I'm telling you, I need one. I need one of my own. Yeah. So again, right, things like that will definitely motivate me. But just thinking towards the bigger picture and the future of what I can do for other people mm -hmm. is really what keeps me mo motivated. Yeah. Yeah. Is just having the ability to teach more people, to reach more people, and to have a bigger impact, right? It's all about impact over income. Yeah. And so stuff like that is really what just keeps me, you know what I'm saying, yeah. running along. And the thing is, and we're having this conversation as well too, is just who you align yourself with. Yeah. Right? Yes. Because, for example, me, I, I could be making a sh shit ton of money, mm -hmm. you know, just doing what I do and by myself and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But me meeting a content creator like you, who is able to actually put my, my, my stuff. Because we have merch, we have the, the Club Billionaire mm -hmm. merch, right? How mm -hmm. do we market this and get this to more people? Right. Versus just the audience that I already have. Because the audience that I, I have is, you know, it's it's built um, from just my own efforts. Mm -hmm. But not not because it is my own efforts mean it is the best effort or is the best ways or strategies being right. used, right? right. You as a content creator, you understand the different audience and mm -hmm. the different people. And you're able to come in and be like, okay, this is all you built from um, your effort mm -hmm. okay what were the things that you did well I, I identified those and we're saying okay cool let's multiply that and this is all we're going to multiply facts so and we're having the, um, the conversation with a couple of people as well too mm -hmm. where it's the same thing they're saying it's saying okay you're in miami network mm -hmm. and miami is right on network mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so whether you need a, a villa whether you need to go to a spot you need to do this or do, cars do that, or whatever you know it's a network and mm -hmm. everybody is not snaking nobody everybody is just making money together and this is all the conversations we've been having you know hey my guy recommended you i need to talk to this guy back to and if we're doing anything outside of that mm -hmm. you know let's work out something that's what miami's energy is yeah just to say that um you know i'm able to totally meet and able to totally help me grow mm -hmm. outside of like just work bro like that shit is amazing and like more people because I don't think you look at it just as from the money. I think you actually love what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? I'm passionate. Yeah, you're passionate. But the thing is, you know, a lot of people aren't passionate about it. They're just doing it to say they want to make money, right? Mm -hmm. So what do they say to a person like that? Do you think that they should, or, or do you tell them, or would you tell them to, to be more passionate about it versus money? Or would you tell them to just focus on the money still? I would say the same thing I just said, right? Impact has more value than income mm -hmm. right like that's why when people be like how old are you i say i'm eternal yeah. because the things that i'm doing are gonna last beyond me so it don't even matter what my my physical age is yeah. because the impact that i'm having on people the, the way i'm trying to help other people and teach other people when i'm dead and gone it, when you're living I, I, and gone. yeah i'm still <laughs> i'm still around i'm still here yeah. because because my impact is felt and it's like the only thing you could do with money is spend it yeah that's really the only thing you could do. Yeah, and I, and actually, you see, you see, even today. Yeah, I'm looking at this strip, and I'm like, I we had, we had a budget. Mm -hmm. That budget is crazy <laughs> from the start. Mm -hmm. But that budget is crazy now. <laughs> oh look, <laughs> it's crazy that, that that big number is called the budget. But yeah, yeah I get yeah, you. Yeah, I get yeah, you. It's crazy, bro. And and that was that was, that was the initial budget. And then I'm like, we're here, we're in Miami. 
we're not gonna allow money to cause us to not have the impact that we want right because you can make it back you can make it we can always make it back you can make right? it back man so you can continue with what your the advice is nah but to. that's it man it's just it's just having that having that that impact right and understanding the value that that has over an income and it's tough for people right because most people who don't come from money when they get it they have a desire to get more of it or to keep it or to whatever but like the people who understand it like you you got money and then you went and got your food you got your chicken but then you went and bought taxis and you bought houses <laughs> and you invested. Yeah. And now you got, you know, P P you have a team, a staff, you have mm -hmm. people that are around you that are making things happen. And so you understand what the concept of investing is. And like, if I put this seed in this ground and I water it, yeah. it's going to grow me more than just a little flower, but I'll have a tree. I could feed myself from that tree. I could do so many other things. And most people don't understand that. So I get where the difficulty is, but you really have to just value your impact over your income. Yeah. And that will help you to change the game in your, in your perception and in your mindset, because otherwise you're going to be a slave to money yeah. all the time. Because yeah. anytime you get something good, you're going to want something better. Yeah. You know, you'll never be satisfied. Yeah. But you, when, you, when you focus on the impact, as long as you keep touching more lives, that you'll feel something. You don't yeah. feel nothing from money. Yeah. You feel a little good like for the moment and then you back to like, all right, what's next? Okay, so let me ask you, what is the top three tip you would give for a content creator? <sighs> top three tips for content creators. Number one, focus on your audience more than you focus on the algorithm. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to your people and understand what they wanna do. Number two, develop a system so that you're not a slave to creating. Because yeah. so many people wake up and they're like, oh, I got to make a video today. I got to do this. I got to do that. When you feel like writing, write. When you feel like recording, record. When you feel like doing anything else, do that other thing. But have a system for you, in place for you to do that. And then number three, align yourself with positive people who are like-minded and who have some similarities, right? Like we got aligned. Yeah. And it's so crazy because you didn't even know yeah. that I was Jamaican. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then when we jumped on, it was like, damn, that's an alignment. And now, and I'm gonna say this to the camera, I'm gonna say it to all the cameras, right? I'm saying it to, I'm, I'm looking at the one that I'm supposed to look at, but all the cameras, right? I'm coming to Jamaica, cause I've never been, right? I'm the first Jamaican that's never been in Jamaica, and I'm coming to Jamaica and we gonna work. We're gonna all work. because we aligned. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So those are the top three things that I would say. Yeah, and, but, and by the way, guys, Y'all might not be able to book him. Y'all <laughs> might not be able to book him. Because the shit that we've been doing and yeah. the work that we've been putting in just this week alone, we've yeah. been here like just chilling, vibing all week. Just the work that we've been doing alone and the things that we got cut out and the plans that we have, y'all might not be booking him. So yeah, I know yeah. he's, we're talking about this team and consultations and all of that. <laughs> That's just because. <laughs> That's because we had to do it. Mm -hmm. But, because we're sharing the goodness, right? But, you see, the thing is, I'm a firm believer that once you find the right people to work mm -hmm. with, bro, this is not a today thing. Right, or right, a tomorrow right. thing. This is a eternal thing, as yes. you said, right? Yes. You know, so, all of you guys might not be able to book him. What's your, where can they find <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, Kent Cultivate on everything, on all yeah. platforms, because I feel like you shouldn't create content, mm -hmm. you should cultivate it. Yeah. Because to cultivate means to try to get better every single day. Yeah. So Kent Cultivate on all platforms. So you can follow him at Kent Cultivate yeah. on all platforms, although you won't be able to book it. <laughs> all right, bro, so thanks for being on the Billionaire Podcast, hey, bro, it was amazing, you know. So for all you guys that, you know, know Kent, comment below. You know, something you know about him, something, the, the way that he's actually impacted you. Just be interactive in the comment section. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to share this with somebody, you know, whether it be a content creator, whether it be somebody that has a business or somebody that their personal brand that they actually want to improve. So just share this because you never know, this knowledge can benefit them and help them to actually scale. Although, well, let me not say although, because y'all won't be able to book him. <laughs> you get me? So bro, ready to take this L? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs>